Hello friends, my name is Luke the Gamer Duke. I enjoy playing, dissecting, and talking about video games. Today in Diablo 2 Resurrected, Hell Mode Countess Farming. But I'm looking for something specific, and I don't want to do hundreds, let alone a thousand runs. Ain't nobody got time for that! Can I actually find what I'm looking for in, say, 50 runs? Or is the Forgotten Tower truly a meat grinder? Let's find out. The Forgotten Tower, found in the Black Marsh, is essentially a side quest in Act 1 and is not necessary to progress forward. But descending the tower cellar and killing the bloodlusting Countess drops some of your first runes in normal mode, and in hell mode can drop some of the more rare and important runes. Which when inserting in specific order in certain items for particular levels can produce some of the most powerful standalone equipment in the game. And there are many rune words. Oh, it keeps going. The Barbarian is my highest level character, and I've recently reached the Durance of Hate in Hell Mode, and it has not been going well. I need some upgrades here. So what's falling behind? I transmog upgraded Silks of the Victor out of desperation a while ago, so that needs to go. I found Spike of Honor recently. It has great damage, but is super slow and would better fit the Mercenary. Ariat's face on my face is working just fine. Demon Limp is putting in the work still. But Zazabi's Cobalt Redeemer minimum damage is kinda lacking. As for runes, I have a decent variety, but I'm missing several higher level mid tier runes, which makes some of the better rune words. I found a 4 socket loricated male, and I think I want either Stone or Fortitude. I have 3 of 4 runes for Fortitude, but a low might be out of reach here, and 2 of 4 runes for Stone. I also found a 4 socket Zwehander, and I think I'd like Oath to replace the Lance, of which I have 2 of 4 runes for. I would prefer a 4 socket delete ethereal one-hander for oath, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Kingslayer would be great too, but expecting 4 of 4 runes is probably unrealistic. So I'm looking for some combo of pull, mal, and um in 50 runs. Odds look slim. If you're not god tier, you may want to douse your magic find and replace with defense and resistances since the number of unique and champion mobs you come across is simply absurd. They're also all resistant to something, and uniques will usually curse you. Also, the quality of rune dropped is not impacted by your magic find anyway. Navigating the tower can prove fatal quickly, so ideally using a character who can do more than just run will help tremendously. It'll also help when navigating the Black Marsh too. Just be careful of rubber banding. Yeah. Quick pro tip during your descent, when entering the next level, follow the perimeter of your map from your character's left shoulder, and you'll find the next stair set much quicker. It's not guaranteed every time, but more times than not this seems to be the case. When you eventually reach the Countess, perhaps use caution when rushing in as it might not just be her mob in there. On occasions you'll find another unique mob, or two, with her in her chambers or others you passed might chase you down while you're engaging the Countess. I need run away, run away, run away. When danger reared its ugly head, he bravely turned his tail no. Nah, screw the minstrels. You don't want to die down here. Rune drops did not start well. Tons of low levels. My first key of terror dropped, actually my first three dropped, so that's cool. Finally a co dropped, then another one, then three IOs fell, and a pair of lums, and a foul as well, and then ort after ort after ort after ort. <laughs> then finally, on run 42, something I needed, a pull. Then more nothings. A couple ehs. Then on the next to last run. A mal dropped. With the mal and the pole found earlier, I can now build Oath. What a crap roll. 
I wasn't expecting 340%, but 230? Come on. That's so low. Pass it down to another character, I suppose. The pair of Ko's, however, open up new possibilities with what I already have. Lawbringer or Voice of Reason could be built by finding a good 3 or 4 socket melee weapon. For your viewing pleasure, I have also tallied up the number of and types of runes dropped from highest level to lowest level to get an idea of what you might find on your ventures down there. And finally, before we wrap up here, just one more final note of interest. Some unique and champion mobs I had to chop down. Others I just wanted to. Some I avoided completely. But from the few and random mobs I did destroy, some of them dropped some really good stuff. Crown of Thieves actually found in the marsh. A shark skin belt, actually two, ended up being Mavina's tenant. This random devilkin dropped a diamond mail. Bad roll for me, but gave it to my mercenary. Same area dropped vampire bone gloves with a pretty good roll. Same area again dropped a decapitator, which ugh, could have been so good. Then I found... Nice. Some random jewel. Yeah, I'll take that. A dimensional blade and a martel defer. Defer rolled poorly, but the blade rolled with 300% increased damage. What the f- Oh, that durability though. I know it's a normal mode item, but still a good set piece to be passed down to another character. Then finally a Hydra Edge. Ethereal. Aw oh, man. I used it till it broke though. So we come full circle to my initial question. Can you find a handful of good runes in just 50 Countess runs? It seems the answer is yes. You can indeed find yourself some higher mid-tier runes with limited runs. And come across some really good loot too. I'm legitimately curious what some farming sessions with boosted magic find would produce in here. Maybe next time. Thanks for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it or received some benefit from it. If you did, please hit that like button as it'll help me expand out. Also, remember to subscribe for more fun Diablo 2 ARPG and other gameplay content and analytics. And let me know your experiences in the comments. Have you ever come across something crazy on your first run? If not, how many runs does it normally take? You ever build a rune word then immediately come across a better socketed item for that same rune word? I'll let you know if that happens to me here. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Adios.